Hi everyone, my name is Saloni and I am a technical consultant here at Glidefast Consulting. Today we will be giving a demo of new Tokyo features in assessments and surveys area. Alright, I am going to navigate to surveys. Let's open Service Desk Satisfaction Survey. If you notice we have two new related links. View Responses in Row and View Scorecard. Let's open View Responses in Row. You can see each survey instance response in a separate row and it gives us better display of all the responses. Also maximum of 5 questions are displayed by default. For example, we can analyze what Rick responded to the survey sent to him. This new related link is really useful if we need to analyze each survey response from a user. You can also easily export this data. Now let's go back and click on View Scorecard Related Link. It provides us a visual breakdown of survey responses by questions, category breakdown, average ratings of each question and history from past three years. If we look at question results, we have ability to analyze responses for each questions which is really cool. Also it will allow you to filter on each question as well if you don't want to look at all the questions. Let's look at average ratings report. This report provides us weighted average ratings of each question from the survey. I am personally impressed with the history feature. Let's take a look together. History gives you data of the survey responses from last three years. We now have ability to compare the data from past year to current year. Ratings that have improved are highlighted in green with positive numbers. Ratings that have declined are highlighted in red and display negative numbers. You can also compare the data from survey quarterly by changing from three years to four quarters. The new related links are time saver and amazingly useful. Now let's take a look at another new feature. I am going to navigate to Employee Center and click on Surveys. I have one active survey and if you notice we have new progress bar. End users will now have ability to see a progress bar with the completion status in percentage. We also have ability to hide the progress bar. To configure the visibility of progress bar, I am going to navigate to sys underscore properties table. Let me find sn underscore portal underscore surveys dot sp underscore survey dot show underscore progress underscore bar property. This is the property where you can change the value to false to hide the progress bar. Alright, that is all for today. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this useful.